Hello, in this tutorial on EndCurses I want to show you how to get a user input, actually how to get a character. Ok, as usually uh, initialize the screen and the end of the program uh, just deinitialize or something. Ok, now we need a character, actually it's an integer value because the get ch not get the character itself, it gets the key code of the character. And then if we want we can convert it to a character. Ok, I use a while loop to get the character, so while c equals get ch and, and it's all uh, not equal to 27 which is the uh, character for the escape uh, then we do something for example move to 10 0 that will be the 12th uh, line so right there of course in the terminal and the 0 character so it starts from the beginning of the line ok the next thing is to write out something so print w and uh, you have entered actually key code and we use a uh, C uh, style write out so this print V is almost like print F in the normal C although I don't really m make too big attention to C style because I want to stay with C++ but uh, uh, if we write out something with print v or print f, then first we give a string, a c style string, so a character literal, and if we have a special character, we use the person sign and a character. In this case, we use d. This is decimal number, so whole number, integer. Okay, and then uh, we can continue the string without uh, an interception. So we can write out and the okay, and we use a character so person sign C here, as you can see. Uh, now uh, we have to give these parameters, so the person D and the person C, and uh, the compiler will uh, delete this and put those parameters, we put it here, we put the C both places and it will convert it automatically a character. Ok, and uh, move back to the 0, 0 coordinate and write something out there, so print w write something Ok, just as simple as that. And actually write it out before the while loop, so uh, it will not start with an empty screen. Ok, and after it we refresh the screen. Ok, and actually that's it, that's the program. Now we can save it and compile it. Ok, and we can run it. Ok, right, something as to escape, so write the character A and as you can see in the 10th line, actually that's the 11th line, the key code is for the A character is 97 and the character is A. Ok, we can write B, C, D, E, F, as you can see, as I write it, change anything. As you can see I can write numbers. I can press enter even, that cannot be uh, convert to a character, uh, obviously. So yeah, I can write something in here and uh, if I press the ESC key, the program will uh, exit. Ok, there is a special uh, initialization function which will uh, which uh, can be used to avoid that if we write something here, then it actually write out. As you can see now, if I uh, write anything, it will automatically uh, write out. We can use the no echo function for that. Uh, that's a function which we usually call after initialization. So, no echo. 
this is very useful when for example make a game because if you uh, press the arrow key you don't want to so you don't want that write something out okay and if now I press something as you can see nothing is right out here so just we get the key code so as I said it is very useful in games or menus where you uh, press a key you don't want to something write out you want that something happen okay press escape and we can use another function called row like that although in this program this will not give too much result uh, but in theory it's due to uh, as soon as I press the key it uh, it will read not wait uh, uh, until the end of the line although not in this case because we would get char not uh, some other reading function for example scan w okay uh, that was this simple program and uh, actually thank you for watching and have a great day